Good morning, everyone. Uh, we're going to do this scene from Gloucester this morning. This is right at the Railway Marina in Rocky Neck. Okay, so I'm going to start with a raw sienna sky, just a nice wash of raw sienna, and then I'm going to drop some ultramarine on it and just let it come down. Don't mix it too hard. Don't push too hard with your brush. Let those colors mix themselves. We'll get right into the ocean. This is um, ultramarine blue with some cadmium red in there. Get a nice violet, so it's a little looser there. And then over here, we're using some dry brush technique, okay? We wanna capture the uh, sparkle of that light on the water. So it's nice and juicy on the left side, and then with a dry brush, just kind of pull it right over and start to develop the, the sparkle of water, the sparkle of light on the water. And then once you get it down to about here, you know, you can go back with the damp brush and just really shape. It's, it's a pretty dry brush, as you can see, but you can shape that the sparkle on the water, and that's what you want to do. And you want to use the texture of the paper. So you're going, you know, with a very light brushwork going across. The brush has very little water in it. You know, it's very damp. But once you, you know, once you establish that, you have, you have plenty of uh, plenty of technique here to use to bring that over. I'm adding just a tiny bit of raw sienna here to the edge of that uh, dark color. And you bring that down. All right. It's And you can keep working this, you know, give it a spray and work it until you're happy. All right, I'm going to put the uh, horizon of, of the city in. This is Gloucester. That's a beautiful city hall in Gloucester in the background. Uh, this is not, not in the photo, but I'm adding it. It's, you know, the, having that city hall in the background always adds so much interest to Gloucester scene and I'm just again this is just ultramarine blue with a little uh, a little touch of quinacridone sienna and to get it darker and you can add some you know you can add some rose or you, I used cadmium red again here to get this and what I want you to look for here is the three shapes three values you know well there's, there's really four here four shapes and four values. So you got the sky, the sea, the city in the background, and then you have the marine railways here, which is the fourth shape. And it's, it's the darkest shape in the painting. And I'm, not much detail to this, you know, it's just a beautiful dark shape. And we have a few masts from boats sticking up. And once they come down into that dark area, you, you can't see them. So it's, uh, you, don't need, you don't need the detail there. That's the Marine Railways building. That's uh, where they repair the big fishing boats and lobster boats. anything really it's an amazing place okay but there's a bunch of boats there and then over here we have there's a wharf that sticks out with pile, a bunch of pilings in it and and the you know the ships pull up to it and that's just sticking out there now notice how, how dark that value is against the city in the background okay we have one one schooner here uh, so there's a mast of the schooner, and we'll get that in. Some of the rigging for the for the sails, and there's the body of the ship itself. I'm just going to use uh, gouache. You know, there's some 
beautiful piece of white light hitting this, the uh, cover of this schooner. Uh, you could have paint, you know, you can paint around it if you like. I didn't. Uh, sometimes I do, but I didn't this time. So I'm just going to use gouache on there. So just suggesting some boats and, you know, some uh, interesting interesting stuff hanging out there. It's always a bunch of junk. <laughs> okay, then we have a lot of reflections coming down. A wave action there. And then you have a lot of rigging on this on this schooner that's hanging out, and it's really nice. It adds a lot to the to the scene just to have that. And you have these uh, I call them floaters. I'm not really sure what they're doing. I, I'm not a boat man, but I've certainly painted a, a bunch of them. And I think this stuff just helps to hold the weight of the roping and so forth. All right, this is the gouache. This is just white gouache I'm using on the on the reflection of the, the canvas that's covering that schooner. And you can use it, you know, anywhere down there if you have you have some uh, pieces of reflection that you want to add into it. You know, I'm adding a little bit of a light in the reflecting in the water in the background you can, like taking the dark paint you can add some some boats along the shoreline there the opposite side go all along you can even add you know add some buildings if you want you add a whole layer of buildings along right on the shore the other opposite shoreline. Okay, put a couple of gulls in the sky as usual. Okay, that was an easy one. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's very typical. You get the three shapes, three values. Really important to see. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you again very soon. Thank you so much.